Jacob Orne update has arrived, bringing tons of brand new content from the arrival of an all new Deadpool and Wolverine collaboration, a new free rewards, and also the arrival of the brand new Fall Guys integration, which is now available in game. We're going to be going over here in today's video, along with some secrets that you guys did not know about the newest Fortnite update. But first, drop a like and subscribe right now if you want this to be your Fortnite account in exactly 65 days. And well, if you don't, this will be your account. So the choice is all yours. Do with that information as you will. And if any of you guys have been picking up anything inside of the Fortnite item shop for yourself, do consider using my support creator code, YTURA, as it greatly supports the channel that extra mile. Hashtag ad. The newest Fortnite update has finally arrived, giving us all new information about the next season of Fortnite, obviously being confirmed to be the Marvel season. Also, the arrival of the brand new Deadpool and Wolverine collaboration, which I know tons of people have been waiting for. Fortnite have already begun teasing this on their social media accounts, which you can see right here. It's very similar to what happened back inside of Chapter 2 Season 2 when we obviously did have Deadpool take over the Fortnite item shop. And it was the first time we've ever seen anything like this actually happen, which obviously you can see right here, this is what that animation actually looked like. It was definitely in line for the Deadpool character, considering he normally does break the fourth wall. If you have all new information about this collab, which you guys definitely want to make sure you're staying tuned for us, it looks like there's even more to it than we actually realized. And while you know we just had to put it on the OG Deadpool skin for this video, considering we're obviously going to be getting the release of an all brand new one, but did you know that you guys can actually get your hands on the brand new Tesla Cybertruck wheels already in game? As you can see, if you do jump into this vehicle, we do actually already have the wheels equipped, which you can see definitely do look pretty cool. And well, how exactly you get these is literally by playing Rocket League, all you have to do is play eight online matches and you automatically will unlock these on your Fortnite account. And once you obviously do unlock them in Rocket League, they do transfer over to your Fortnite locker, which is definitely pretty cool. As we can see, we do have quite the amount of challenges to actually go through before we will be able to actually unlock the Cybertruck itself by completing nine of these brand new daily quests. And we do actually have another one here, earn XP with a party in Battle Royale, Reload, LEGO Fortnite, Rocket Racing, and Festival. So yeah, this is going to take a little bit of time to obviously be able to complete, but it's definitely going to be worth it, considering you're getting yourself a free vehicle on your Fortnite account. Which realistically, Fortnite didn't have to do, considering Cybertruck is obviously a very well-known vehicle. I'm pretty sure tons of people probably would have bought it anyways. So be sure you're keeping up with all those quests, and ensure you do not miss out on that brand new Cybertruck vehicle. But we do have... A few people. There's one. It looks like that guy was just a solo. And we have just you. Back to the lobby, boys. But also, with the latest Fortnite update, we've also had the addition of the brand new Fall Guys integration. Finally, as obviously we had that revealed to us a few months ago. Well, how exactly this works is more or less you're going to actually be able to use beans inside of Fortnite, but it is actually only available inside of actual creative maps. Which is definitely a pretty weird one, considering I thought they would have actually added some sort of Fall Guys mode to the game, considering we obviously already do have LEGO Fortnite, obviously Fortnite Festival, and also Rocket Racing. But we do know, thanks to some leaks, that we should be seeing the arrival of a brand new mini game that will actually happen in the battle royale lobby where more or less you will actually have to play a small round of fall guys which is going to be very similar to what happened back in chapter 2 season 7 when we were abducted by the mothership we're obviously depending on how you obviously did in that mini game itself would obviously depending on what loot you would obviously get at the very end of it which was definitely pretty fun and it's nice to see that this is making its way back into the game obviously this time around being related to fall guys it looks like a handful of fortnite skins have obviously been transferred over to be actually fit into the Fall Guys model, which you can see here is a big list of them right here, which definitely do look pretty cool. So you can be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think about that and what do you do hope comes to Fortnite when it does come to this brand new Fall Guys integration as the possibilities for it are honestly endless. Oh boys, we have people here. I did not think that guy saw me. Oh, they are, they are hunting me down. Right, we need to bang, bang. Oh God. Okay, there's two down. I think there is another guy right here. Oh my goodness, we are getting absolutely destroyed today. My, what is up with my aim, man? Oh my god. Okay, we almost, we almost completely messed that up there. 
So be sure to keep an eye out for that, as that's definitely going to be a pretty cool way of obviously adding in new game modes to Fortnite, obviously with us getting tons of more in the near future. But obviously you guys want to know about the brand new Deadpool and Wolverine collaboration, as we do know that two brand new skins have been added to the game files for the release of the brand new Deadpool and Wolverine movie, which is kind of funny considering we just had the release of the Weapon X skin, obviously being another Wolverine outfit. But this time around, both of these outfits are actually going to be cell shaded as you can see right here kind of looking like a comic-y art style which i know a lot of people were kind of bummed out about but i definitely do think it's pretty cool nonetheless considering this is obviously the brand new outfits that they are actually wearing in the movie as we can see here is the brand new wolverine outfit which i personally do think looks really cool considering it's obviously another traditional yellow and blue suit as the original version of wolverine was obviously locked in a chapter 2 season 4 battle pass which obviously you guys can see right here and then we do obviously have an all new deadpool outfit this time around obviously being self shaded as well but you can actually see that this one actually has some pretty cool edit styles such as the arrival of what looks to be an arrow kind of going through his head which is kind of funny considering deadpool is obviously invincible and cannot die and then we do obviously have an edit style as well where you can actually take up part of the mask which you can obviously see here is what that looks like which i also do think looks pretty cool it's kind of a similar edit style to the one we obviously have for the original deadpool outfit and the same applies for the brand new wolverine skin too as he actually has an unmasked edit style which looks nothing like you jackman so it looks like they didn't actually get permission to use you jackman's face which i'm honestly not surprised that that was actually going to happen this time around and it is kind of crazy the amount of adamantium claws harvesting tools we already have in the game considering obviously the original wolverine skin had him as in form of a brand new built-in emote and then we obviously had a few of them released inside of the item shop which was definitely pretty cool such as the ones for the wolverine zero outfit the x23 outfit and also the recent weapon x outfit so if you guys are a fan of wolverine definitely would be sure you're picking that up especially if you missed out on the original wolverine skin that released in chapter 2 season 4 but they also do have some pretty cool cosmetics as well which we're going to be going over alongside another part of this actual collaboration that you guys definitely missed out on oh boys we have some trouble over this way what is going on two teams it seems like bang 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 you're gone we have you they have like no clue i'm here I think we should throw down some C4. Oh, what are we doing? Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Oh my goodness, man. All right. There's you gone. Who else do we have? And Billy Eilish over here. Back to the lobby. So it looks like as a part of some of the brand new cosmetics, we also will be getting brand new Deadpool katanas. Finally, which obviously we never actually did get for the original Deadpool outfit. As here's the harvesting tools we did get for that original outfit that were actually available inside of the item shop back in chapter two, season two. Which was definitely pretty weird considering he obviously does actually have a katana back bling, which you can obviously see I'm wearing right now in game. And while it doesn't actually look like this is actually going to be a back bling, which is definitely kind of weird considering the fact that obviously we do know that Deadpool should actually have them in the form of a brand new back bling for this new skin. But we also will be getting what looks to be the brand new Headpool character who is set to make an appearance in the brand new movie, which you can see is also going to be another back bling, which I definitely think looks pretty cool. And then we do also have a new emote, which we can't actually take a look at just yet considering this is actually incredible inside of the game files meaning we can't actually see it in game just yet so we'll obviously have to wait until the skin actually releases in game and then we do actually have a glider which does seem to have two different edit styles one of them being for wolverine and one of them actually being for deadpool which definitely looks pretty cool considering they are obviously the main characters of that brand new movie and honestly i think this whole bundle is honestly going to be pretty sick i can't wait to get my hands on it but it looks like as a part of this brand new collaboration obviously we will see deadpool and wolverine take over the Fortnite item shop my guess is we'll most likely see see an animation that's very similar to the one we did see back in chapter 2 season 2 which i think is definitely going to be pretty cool considering it's honestly pretty in line with the deadpool character but it is also looking like we're going to have a brand new location on the fortnite island that most likely will be sticking around until fortnite chapter 5 season 4 as there was actually some leaks that we did actually have inside of the game files that we're actually looking like we're going to be seeing a giant ant-man like location which you can see right here here is what those actual leaks did show us it's not entirely confirmed or whether or not it's actually legit or not and well, obviously, if you guys have seen the trailer for that brand new movie, you will obviously know that, well, inside of one of these variant timelines, it looks like Ant-Man actually did die. In his actual giant form, which you can obviously see right here, does seem to be set up in the form of some sort of base. And 
Bella looks like that's going to be making its way into the game as a part of this brand new collaboration, which I honestly think is going to be pretty funny. And also going to have its very own secrets in the form of a brand new NPC, which we're going to be getting into very shortly as this collaboration honestly is going to be getting even more nuts. As it looks like we're going to be seeing the arrival of all brand new bosses on the Fortnite island, as we do know Fortnite have actually been working on brand new adamantium claws in the form of an all new mythic item, being the adamantium claws 2.0, which is definitely pretty weird as it looks like they're going to work a little bit differently compared to the ones we had back in chapter 2 season 4. But nonetheless, I definitely do think that it's pretty cool that we're getting the arrival of these again, as obviously the last time we did see them was all the way back 4 years ago. And who knows, we could even be seeing Deadpool make his way as well in the form of another NPC where maybe we could even be buying a brand new Katanas, which obviously could work very similar to the actual blade that we did have back in Chapter 4 Season 2 when we had the arrival of Mega City. But obviously, we will have to wait and see exactly what does happen with that as it definitely is looking like this brand new collaboration is going to be pretty big. Obviously, building up to the release of the brand new Marvel season that we will be getting on August 16th. So be sure you stay tuned for that. But obviously, as for now, we don't know exactly when the skins will be releasing. Most likely, we will see them on Thursday when the movie actually releases, which is going to be pretty cool. So if any of you guys are going to be needing any of those brand new skins, be sure to let me know down in the comments as I want to hook a ton of you guys up with them. But unfortunately, guys, that is all we pretty much have time for here in today's video and if you did watch all the way to the very end of it be sure to drop this word down in the comments alongside with your epic games id and if you're not already do consider using my support creator code ytora inside of the fortnite item shop as it greatly supports the channel hashtag ad and if you did enjoy do be sure to drop a like subscribe and all that good stuff and i'll catch you all in the next one peace